Hi everyone, it's Kelly, um, obviously, or you wouldn't be watching my channel, right? Anyways, um, this is going to be part two on uh, Junk Journal 101 class. Um, I know there are a lot of journal tutorials out there, but there were um, a couple of questions in my Facebook group, which was cof which is Coffee Cup Crafts and Conversation. Um, the link is down below. If you're interested, um, come check us out. It's a place where you can art yourself silly, drama free. I promise. I have no problems with booting somebody out and blocking them instantly. No drama. Um, but I had posed a question in my group about if you were to receive a junk journal as a gift, uh, what would you hope to find in it? And we, I had some awesome responses. And then there was a couple that I've never made a junk journal. I don't know what a junk journal is um, and things like that. So I'm doing a mini series, a uh, junk journal tutorial. Uh, the first one I did was, it's junk journal 101, part one, basic cover. And so we... <clears throat> We just went over how to, you know, make a cover. <coughs> Pardon me. I had a uh, scratch in the back of my throat. And this one is going to be part two, how to make a signature. Now, I know there are many, many, many videos out there doing this. But... My purpose and intent in doing this is so I can link this in my group and anybody who has, and, um, like, is intimidated by starting a junk journal can see that it's not, <clears throat> it's not as difficult as it sounds. So what we did was this, um, was a piece of wallpaper I got at a thrift store. Um, is what I used to cover. Same with the inside. Um, and then the material used for the, the cover was a devil's food cake box. Total recycle. And we just trimmed it down. Let me see. Yeah, I'm out here. Nope, that's just a piece of it. Anyways, that's part of it. <laughs> So we trimmed it down, we covered it up, and now we're going to make um, signatures out of whatever I got on my desk, pretty much. Um, I did grab some things and just kind of grabbed a pile of stuff and just threw it down here. So we're going to go through this, figure out what's here, and how to make a signature out of it. First thing we need to do is measure... Uh, let me get my smaller ruler. The big one's out front. I don't want the big 18-inch one. I just need the 12-inch one. Okay. Need to measure what this is. And uh, give or take four and a half. Can you see that? I know it's upside down. But it's give or take four and a half. So we're going to want, obviously, uh probably about four and a quarter and then times it by two so eight and a half that's awesome eight and a half by eleven so let's see if we've got any regular size here oh that's pretty eight and a half by eleven 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 that is not eight and a half by eleven but we'll figure it out there's some more. That's a little bit smaller than 8.5 by 11, but we can probably use it. Same with that one. Same with the... Oh, cool. We got an envelope. Another envelope. Oh, this is my test sheets when I was testing out my... My... Uh, oh, what do you call it? Acrylic water sprays or watercolor sprays, whatever they're called, or alcohol sprays. That's what they are. Alcohol sprays. So we can use these. Um, 
Those are half sheets, but we'll set those aside. Let's start out with the eight and a half by 11s. Oh, these are some of the papers I was given in a happy mail. So let's work with those. All right. So we've got this. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's wallpaper. Um, these are just scraps. Where those came from. Oh, that's pretty. Huh. I didn't expect to see those. Oh, that's an envelope. Okay, we'll probably use that. That's a napkin decoupage. Well, it looks like an eight and a half by eleven. We could probably use that. Santoro Gorgeous Girl Graphics. Those over here. Oh, here's a map. Oh, that side says Louisiana. That side says Kentucky and Tennessee. Well, cool beans, but it's only the east half of the state. <laughs> this is. Yeah, this one's from 1988 when I went to the Shakespeare Festival in Stratford, Canada. Let me see. Well, we can probably use those pages. And that one too. So we've got some more. Uh, oh, we've got awesome. Oh, pretty pictures. Okay, so we'll do those in a minute. Um, yeah, this is the stuff I just threw in a pile. All right, so what we'll do is we'll set all these excess pieces off to the side. And we can all add these in, you know, later or augment them. <clears throat> all right, let's see. Is this eight and a half? Yep, eight and a half. All right, so we know what we're going to do for crossways. Down there. Uh, I'll put those down there. Yes. Oh, here's the envelopes. We can use those to add pages. So let's just start working with eight and a half. And that's eight and a half wide. So awesome. So we'll figure out how many signatures we want to use in this. Now the spine is it's about an inch and a half. We can probably do three signatures in there, um, but we wouldn't be able to stuff it too much. Three, maybe, well, let's start out with two, and if we can get a third one in there, we'll do it. Now you can see, obviously, signatures can be anything, native anything. I've got painted papers here. I've got, um, these are uh, like notebook dividers, wallpaper. Um, this is an old uh, theater playbook. Uh, maps, decoupage stuff, you name it. How far across is this? That's only seven. So the little ones we're going to leave off to the side for now. Only because we just want to start off with some eight and a half. So let's figure out how tall we need it. That says six and three quarters. So if we do it at six and a half, that should give us. So we got eight and a half by six and a half. Okay. So let's get the cutter. Since obviously it's an eight and a half by eleven all the way across, we don't even need to cut this way. Wait, let me make sure. <laughs> I may have to get a different sheet. No, nope, that one's seven and a half, so we'll set that one aside. But this one should be eight and a half. Yeah. All right. But we need what did we say? Six and a half, right? Yes. Six and a half. So let's. Uh, 
is one. And these pieces that we're cutting off right here, we can still add those in. Right now, all I'm doing is trying to get a, uh, what do you call it? Like a baseline started, so to speak. That one's really pretty. Okay, so six and a half. There, there, six and a half. Okay. Now let's make sure this is eight and a half across. six and a half down. Make sure this is eight and a half across. I'm just cutting off the tabs, apparently. Because it is eight and a half across minus the tags. See, all I'm doing is just cutting a bunch of pages that will that will match and I'm really not paying attention too much to what to what it is I actually cutting I'm just grabbing any eight and a half sheet within my range this is just to show you you know that you can use anything. And we're trying to do two signatures. So that was eight and a half that way. So we need six and a half this way. And this one might be big enough. Oh, that's eight and a half. I need to check it this way. Yeah, we got room. Six and a half. There we go. Okay, we got painting paper, so let's do this. We figured this was eight and a half, so we'll go six and a half. And there's two of them here, so I could have probably left them together, but that's eight and a half. We can set those there. Let's see what else can we use. Magazine pages. Okay, we already knew they were eight and a half because we measured it. Let's go, oops, six and a half. Let's see, check this out. Even though this one's a little bit shorter, it can still be used. And this right here was eight and a half, so we need six and a half this way. Alrighty. Let's see what we've got so far. We might have enough for two signatures. We may need more. I don't know. Let's move this side for a minute. All right. So we've got, pull this in half. Well, I moved that one a 
the second one. Now some people only put five or six pieces of paper which will give you 10 or 12 pages so to speak and that's a safe that's a safe um, what do you call it a safe number you know putting five or six I like doing the six to be honest and I'll fold some with the colors in some with the colors out only because when you put them in you know you want you want it a little different This one we'll do on the outside. Uh, no, wrong one. There we go. And this one's got color on both sides, so it doesn't matter which way we fold it. All right, let me see what we've got so far. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven. Okay, well, we'll just leave that one at seven. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, we'll just throw the eighth one in there. All right, so we've got two sets of signatures. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the map out and leave these out, but I'll put these away. Or not, I'll just set them up there and we will get some of the smaller stuff. Okay, actually, with this map, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half long ways and I'm not even going to measure it there we go put that one with that and that one with that and yeah we'll trim them up but let's set that right there for a minute and that, we'll put that one there that one there We'll put that envelope there. We'll put this envelope in that one. And you'll see when, when it all gets put together. Oh, here's another envelope. I like that envelope. Let's put that on that one. Let's put that there. Let's put that one there. Let's throw that one there. I, these are kind of too little. I didn't want to deal with those. Scraps. Oh, here's another envelope. I got two envelopes on that one. Let's put an extra envelope over here. All right. I've got a big envelope here, but I don't need that. Let's pick a page or two out of here. Oh, that's a pretty one. Okay, that one, that one's pretty too. All right. Yep. Okay. Throw those out and I don't really need those. Hmm. All right. So we've got what we're going to put in this one for now. Oh, no, we don't. We got these right here. All right, well, let's see what else can we add to this one. So we'll put this one on here on this side. And we'll put... Which side did the... That? Okay, so we'll put that over here. Put 
one there. One here. One here. One here. Let's see which one got the pink. Did this one get the pink? Yes, it did. So we'll put that one on this side. We'll put these over here. You see, so even the scrap, the scraps. Bleh. Poo, poo, ugh. Even the scraps can be used to make a signature. So we've got that signature ready to go. We're ready to get put together. That's not ready to go yet, but. Pardon me. So we'll set this one aside. All right, this is the one we got folded already. I'm gonna make sure that when it's in there, it's the size you want it. And you want it about a quarter, an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch below the, just inside, you know, the edges. All right, so that one's going to look good. We'll set that over there for now. Now let's decide where we want to put these. Now we can put this one right there. No, I don't want a half a page on the outside. But we can put half a page right in through here. All right? So let's do that. Okay. Got a half a page right there. And I don't want those next to each other, so what we'll do is we'll put that one there. And that one there. Let's try that. Okay, so we've got half a page. Let's try... Go. Let's try that one. Uh, let's see. No, I don't want that one there. I want an envelope. Where'd our envelope go? Here's our envelope. Now, if you wanted, you could, you know, seal up the top right here on this end that's already open and then just cut off the ends so you've got a tuck pocket in the side. That's an option. But you see, I'm just using whatever I have. And, well, I'm going to end up cutting the ends anyways because it's a little bit too long, but that's okay. Let's see. Let's go this route. No, I had it right the first time. Alrighty. Let's see what else can we put in there? We're going to put this. See that? Even though we've got stuff on the edge sticking out, we can still trim that. But before we trim it, I want to make sure all of these are in the order that you want them to be in. Okay, so okay, well we got that one done for now. We got it organized anyways. Let's get the other one organized. That way we can trim them both at the same time. And we didn't end up using the calendar, but I think we will. I think we will. Just not just yet. Oh. 
Okay. Now all I'm doing is just folding these in half now and putting them together. Closing that. Because when I use it, I'm going to cut the ends off. So, put that right there. See how that sticks off the end? Oh, let's go this route. See, that's all I'm doing. I'm just folding stuff up. You've got newspapers. You use new newspapers, coffee dyed papers. Um, I've got those over there, but this is just what was in the pile that uh, that I started. Some people like their journals, you know, totally loaded, fully loaded, and that's where somebody else has already decorated it and you know, loaded it up and everything. Others prefer to have, you know, the option of being able to, and that's if you give them away, you know, if you make them yourself or for yourself, then obviously you can do any daggum thing you want with it. <laughs> See, I love that little picture. That was in my theater playbill, playbook. Close him up. Yeah. We're supposed to put him upside down. Nah. Okay. And we've got, let's see, this one's really pretty. I really like this one. But I think I'm going to fold it in. do two of those right there. I mean, you can put doilies in there. I, I've got some, but I'm not digging them out. Like I said, I just wanted to prove a point that, uh, that you didn't have to go out and search high and low and spend a thousand dollars and whatever just to make a junk journal. If you think of what the title stands for, or what the title says, is it's a junk journal. And it's not that what you're putting in it is junk. I don't think that's, you know, the term. I use a lot of recycled stuff in mine. You know, envelopes, um, theater playbills, things like that. Um newspapers, maps, that type of thing. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to do the map. Uh-oh, I did it the wrong way, didn't I? No, I didn't. Well, I did it on the wrong way on one page, but the right way if you flip it over. There's another envelope. Do I want a second envelope? Why the heck not? Let me make sure. Do I have that? No, I don't have it glued down. that 
Okay. Okay. I think that's about the limit that I can push for this one. So there, we have two signatures and we probably have enough. Let me see, can we get it? Oh yeah, see, look at that. We got enough room to do a third. So let's throw a third one together since we've got the stuff here. Might as well, right? Okay, have an envelope. Fold this over. And for a third one, we may have to cut, you know, cut another one open, but that's, or cut a couple more pages. We're going to have to cut the calendars. So let's do that. And here's one. We can throw that on there. See any size, any size, any size. So we'll put that right there. He's upside down. Probably doesn't matter if he's upside down, but that's there, that one there. Now let's cut, whoops, let's cut the calendars down. So it would be eight and a half long. Six and a half. Let's do this way because I like the I like the sky on this one. All right, these two can be used. See, look how pretty that is. An old calendar. Yeah. So we can throw that in there. Two, eight and a half. So let's do it on this side because that way I'm not cutting off any of the picture. Oh, fooey. I just lost my my cutter. Reach down here. So another page we could probably add. Okay. So we got this one in at eight and a half. I said I really like the skies. I love the purples and the pinks in those. I'll do this one on this side. Okay. I 
and we've got the eight and a half here, so we need six and a half here. All righty. So now we've got three signatures. Can we put this one? Let's put this one right here. Give it some color right there. Actually, I think I'm going to put this one on the outside. So the outside of the signature doesn't look so plain. All right. Now you also want, when you do shorter pages like this, you also want to make sure that when you add them, that they will fall in between where your stitches are going to go. That will you know, hold your signature together. So that is something you want to make sure that you keep in mind when you go to sew them together. Okay. That's good. That one's good. That one, I think I'm going to pull this one out. I'll pull that one out too. I like that one. There's my envelope. Alrighty. So now we've got three signatures. Now you can hand cut this or get out. I've got a guillotine cutter, but I really don't have the space on my desk right now to use it. So honestly, I'm just going to, and it's better to use a guillotine one because trying to cut through something this thick with by hand, you're going to get it all kind of womper jawed, but that's okay. I'm trying. So you don't have to have you know, big fancy equipment. Actually, I'll keep that piece of map. Put that in my scrap bin and use it for clusters. All right, so now we've got let's see, one signature done. Okay, we don't need those. These are scraps. So let's work on the second signature. We've already got that pretty well. Now, if you don't know or are not aware, when you fold a bunch of pieces together, the inside pieces are going to come out a little bit longer than the outside ones. Because look, they're not all totally, you know, the same depth in. That's why it's better to use a cutter than what I'm doing because you'll get a you'll get a straighter edge. You won't have as many issues like me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim half of it to the front cover or the front of this since I'm not cutting through so many pieces that way. Woo! Okay, see I only did part of it. And then I'll flip it over and I'll cut what's left to the back cover. What this has also done is it is effectively trimmed my envelopes as well. OK, 
Okay. So now that is fairly, fairly the right size. Okay. More map pieces. There's the second signature. This stuff I'm going to just throw out. Nope, I can use that and that. These I will throw out. Okay. And then last but not least, our third and final signature. This one doesn't have as much, but it still needs to be trimmed. So That's kind of why you also need to put your signatures together, I would, and figure out in which order you want them to be. Uh, that's good. Not perfect, but not bad. All right, let's got one more. these away really quick and get them out of the way. Because in my scrap bin, that one I'll put in my scrap bin. And these will go in my bigger scrap bin. Set those aside. Okay. Now, there are so many different ways you can do this. I've seen people use books. I've seen people use, you know, this uh, fancy dancy uh, contraptions that they build in their garage to poke the holes in their thing. I use an ice pick and a cutting board normally. I measure it first and then I just bang the hell out of my holes. <laughs> but what I do to measure my holes or measure the width apart is I measure the, the width of this, whatever this is, up and down. Okay, and right now I've got six and three quarters. Yeah, six and three quarters. And it really sucks because you can't divide that in two. It's an odd number. That half of that, six and a half would be three and a quarter. So we can do three and three and three eighths maybe. So we'll go, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. That's a quarter. So we'll go right here. That's about half. All right. And I mark approximately, you know, the halfway point from top to bottom. That's where my middle holes will go. Then I measure from the middle to the bottom and then go in half to that. So that's three and a quarter. Uh, 
3.25. I really suck at math, okay, you guys? So please. Okay, so 1.64. Here we go about right here is where this next line will go. Our next hole. Now this is for the three pamphlet stitch. Okay. That's if you're only three whole pamphlet stitch. Oh, great. I forgot how much that was. Okay, so that was one and about one and three quarters. Yeah, let's see. About one and three quarters. About one and three quarters. Now you can do a five hole stitch or, you know, however many stitches you want. Three is about all I'll do. Now, if I'm doing three signatures, then I'll divide this. That's one and a half. So oof, we'll do a quarter in. A half. And a quarter in. That's about right. So we'll go a quarter in, about a half, and a quarter in. That's a quarter inch on each side. And I'm just taking it a half inch from each quarter. And then this one. Quarter inch on both sides. And then right dead in the middle. So that's where I'll put my holes in my book, in my cover. Okay? I've seen, I don't remember which way is up, which is probably a really good idea if you mark it. There we go. We'll go up. You can always erase that. I don't think this one's going to matter as much. Yeah. So we'll go up. And then, of course, this one's up. I already know which way this one goes. All right. Some people will put these in. Where the signatures are going to go, top to bottom. This is so totally scientific, y'all. Okay? I'm serious. I don't know how we can ever get past life by not doing it absolutely by the book. Right? <laughs> this is how I do it. Doink. That was really scientific, right? Same with this one. And this one, I'll probably, I need a white one for this. There we go. White. White. Sure, I can see it on both sides. And there we go. 
<sighs> Best thing to do when you're punching holes, which I can't very well do on my glass. But I will show you. Well, no, I can't because I don't even know where that's at. Okay, what I do is I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing because I don't want to make a mess. I open this up all the way like this so I can see my holes, my dots. But I also make sure that it's being held together where I want it to be. Then, I know you guys are going to laugh, you can use a pokey tool, which I have, but I don't want to mess it up. I've got an old ice pick that I use. I'll put this on as well as this, where the holes are, all right, and I've got a hammer, and I'll just bam, one time into a cutting board, not your glass mat. Trust me. All right. And that is how I do my holes. There are many ways to do it. Mine is not the best. It's just the way I do it. Seriously. Now let me see. I'm not seeing my needle. Ah, here we go. Now you want your hole big enough. You don't have to use a needle this size. Okay, this is like one of those yarn plastic darning needles. This is kind of too big. Because you want to be able to get, you know, you don't want to tear big giant holes in your, in your, uh, this thing. Or in your paper. So let me find my needle and I will punch my holes and I will be back, okay? Because I can't do it on this. I shall be right back. Okay, I are back. Uh, let's see, I've got my holes punched. See right here? And what I meant, and I'll show you an example, is you know I got my half pages, right? the smaller pages. I made sure that at least two of my holes right here went through each of the page. So the top two went through here, the bottom two went through this one. So th that's just an idea to give you. All right, now what I use is, this is a darning needle. It's got a pretty wide, let me see, head on it, or eye needle, eye of the needle, whatever you call that, you know, it's pretty big. And some people use thread, some people use yarn, and you can, anything you want. Me, I like using embroidery thread. Um, I think it's strong. It's, it's a good linen thread. You can still tear it apart, you know, separate it, because some of them are, let's see, this one I think has is five one, two, three, four, five, nope, it's six. It's got six ply in it. So, I mean, you, in this one strand, you've got six, five more, whatever you call it, in it. So, let's see. No, I'm not even going to separate them. Because me, I like the thickness. I like the strength. Right, and what I'm going to do is on the first one, I'm going to pull those off because I need to be able to fold this back in on itself. Yeah, I'm going to line up the holes as best I can. And 
what I'm going to do is go through from the inside in the center. All right. I'm going to go through all the holes. I'm going to pull it through. And I'm going to go up one like this, with the top one, making sure I'm still on the same line of holes, you know, the top, the top holes. All right, so that went through that way. I'm going to make sure it goes through the holes on the signature. Pull that through. Okay. I'm going to go back out through the center. Okay, just to let you know. I'm going to go back out through the center. Pull that through. Make sure that's tight as well, okay? And I'm going to go down to the bottom. I did that wrong. Yes, I did. I should not have gone back out through the center. So let me pull that right back out again. There we go. I'm going to go all the way down is what I'm doing. Oops. No, no, no. See, that's why you should keep it clipped, and I didn't. I took my clips off. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Now I go back in. But this time... Let's see, if this string is on this side, right, of this, when I go back in, I want to make sure I come in on the opposite side. There. I'll make sure that's tight. So that way... And I wasted a whole lot of string, so let me, let me try and there we go. Okay, so that's pretty tight. I'm going to take this off. Scissors. And then I'm going to just knot it over the center string. Now, you could... That's if you want all of your strings on the inside. You could have gone back up and gone out. Let's see, that's what it looks like. Out the top and let extra hang so you could make it dangle. Me, not so much. I'm not good at dangles yet. So there. 
that is our first signature. Mm. And that's how it looks from that side. This is the center. And that's the back. And I've got two more sets to put these in. So I will do this one more time. I'm going to put these. I never throw these out. I'll throw those in my little scrap thing. Okay. Now I'm going to keep the clip on this time. So I don't lose my, and let's do this again. But this time, instead of hanging on to this, I'm going to, I'm going to cut me a length. So this is going to be signature number two, this side up. I always start in the middle from the inside going out. Into the middle hole. Some people go down, I go up, it's no biggie, whichever way you want to go. And then all the way down. Ugh, come on, there you go. Now remember... All the way down. Sorry. And then back up through the middle. When you come back up through the middle, if this one is on this side of the string, then when you come back up the middle, you want to come in on the opposite side. So, make sure I'm. There we go. <laughs> I missed the whole ouch. Okay. I'll make sure that's pretty snug. I've got one on both sides. Okay, pretty snug. Again, I cut too much. But that's okay. I'd rather have too much than not enough, to be honest. And you can leave them like this one. I'll just leave. And there's the second signature. See, I've got two signatures in there now. You can see one and two. Now we'll do the last and final signature. Is up. All right. So, and again, no, I know that's not long enough. Let's try it a little bit shorter. And honestly, my needle is probably too big for this. Because you really don't want to, you know, stress your holes too much. I'm going in through the center hole from the inside. That is what I am doing. Mm. 
I'm going to leave a tail right here so I have something to tie it off on at the end. I'm going up to the top. Whoops, wrong one. Eh. There we go. Up to the top, making sure that my holes are lined up. There we go. Going straight down to the bottom. Oops. Make sure that one doesn't come out. And again, back in through the middle. And remember, okay, you're coming in, you want to make sure you come in on the opposite side. Let's see, that's a little bit more manageable. Make sure it's snug. And then knot it up. This one I will trim. And there you have it. We did three signatures in, in an hour. That's it. Okay. And check it out. Okay, so on the next one, we'll start um, decorating. And you can see how easy it is. I'm going to go ahead and trim these. Uh, when add pockets, we can fix the ones in here, you know, like right here. When I cut the ends off, we've got pockets right here from the envelopes that were folded over. See, I got to fix this one. I'll fix that one later, but yeah, I opened this. I should have opened it up before I put it in there, but I didn't. See, so here's the other side. But that's okay. But that is how easy it is to make a three signature junk journal. And it was all out of whatever you had laying around. I mean, I had to actually hunt down my embroidery thread, but that was only in the in the case behind me, <laughs> in the little you know organizer case behind me. But other than that, so that this is the conclusion of part two. I will do a part three, and um, we'll work on decorating and embellishing and adding all the extras that folks in my live stream, not my live stream, but I'm sorry, in my Facebook group, said that they would like to see in a junk journal. They said tags, ephemera, lots of pockets, lots of tuck spots, um, painty papers, which we did, you know, maps. I didn't even put any line paper in it this time, but there are places in here um, where you can write yourself. And we can stencil and draw and all that fun stuff. So, on that note, I will let you guys go. I hope you have had an interesting and informing time. Hope I learned. I hope I hope I learned you something. <laughs> uh, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm working on getting close to a thousand. Once I hit a thousand, I'm gonna have a pretty big giveaway. Uh, tell me in the comments what you think. Uh, there's a link to my Facebook group in the bottom or in the comments below in the show more description, whatever that box is called. And other than that, 
Um, remember to always keep the humor in life. Because if you don't, life sucks. On that note, I will see everybody next time. Okay? Good night and God bless.